What's up guys? Welcome back to another SAT math problem. So this one says triangles A, B, C, and D, E, F are congruent, where A corresponds to D, and B and E are right angles. The measure of angle A is 18 degrees, where is the measure of angle F? Alright, so we know that these are right triangles, so let's just draw them out. So our first triangle is going to be, looks like B and E are the right angles, so I'll just put B here, and A up top. And then we'll call this one C. And we'll do the same thing. And these are congruent triangles. So just, they're not really the same size here, but just imagine they are. All right, so E is the other right angle. All right, so this one's D and this one's F. And let's mark those right angles in there. It's pretty messy. And there we go. All right, so let's see what's given. So they say that the measure of angle A is 18 degrees. So we have 18 degrees right here. Boom. All right, so here's the thing, right? We know that right angles are 90 degrees. So angle B is gonna be 90 degrees. And so they want us to find the measure of angle F and angle F is in the other triangle. But since we know they're congruent triangles, we know that their corresponding angle is gonna be the same, right? Not only is it, is, are they like similar in terms of side lengths, but they're also going to have the same angle measures. And so if we look at this corner right here, the angle of C can actually be found by just adding up the angles of A and B and then subtracting it away from 180 degrees. Um, and the reason for that is because there's 180 degrees in a triangle, right? So 180 minus 18, well actually it's just minus 90 first, and then minus 18. Boom. So that will give us 72 degrees. And since we know that C is 72 degrees and its corresponding angle matches up to angle F, that means angle F must have a measure of 72 degrees.